Right. Uh, you welcome members to the 16th meeting in 2014 of the Delegated Powers and Law Reform Committee. As always, ask members to switch off any mobile phones. Agenda item one is instruments subject to affirmative procedure. No points have been raised by our legal advisers on the Health Care and Associated Professions Indemnity Arrangements Order 2014 draft. Is the committee content with this instrument, please? Thank you. Agenda item two is instruments subject to negative procedure. The Firefighters Compensation Scheme Scotland Amendment Order 2014, SSI 2014-109. The word his was included in paragraph 11C of the schedule in error. The word should have been omitted, as otherwise the order is drafted in gender neutral terms. Does the committee therefore agree to draw the order to the attention of the Parliament on the general reporting ground as it contains a minor drafting error? Agreed. The committee may wish, may wish to note, however, that the Scottish Government has undertaken to amend the provision when the Firefighters' Compensation Scheme Scotland Order 20, 2006 is next amended for other purposes. Does the committee agree to note this? Agreed. Turning now to the Firefighters' Pension Scheme Scotland Amendment No. 2 Order 2014, SSI 2014-110, paragraph 1A4 inserts a definition of the term initial date into Rule 2.1 of Part 1 of Schedule 1 to the Firefighters' Pension Scheme Scotland Order 2007, which I will refer to as the 2007 Order. The initial date is defined as the 1st of April 2014. The order then inserts a new Rule 5A into Part 11 of Schedule 1 to the 2007 order. Rule 5A4 provides that within two months of the initial date, the Scottish Fire and Rescue Service shall use all reasonable endeavours to notify eligible employees and former employees of the service who may be entitled to join the scheme that they, are, may, they may be so entitled. The Scottish Government has explained the policy intention is to give the Scottish Fire and Rescue Service two months from the date of commencement of this order to comply with this duty. The definition of initial date as the 1st of April 2014 therefore renders paragraph 1A4 of the schedule to the order defective as the order does not come into force until the 23rd of May 2014. Does the committee therefore agree to draw the instrument to the attention of the Parliament under reporting ground I as paragraph 1A4 of the schedule is defectively drafted? Okay. The following more minor drafting errors have been highlighted by our legal advisers. Paragraph 10 of the Schedule to the Order inserts a new Rule 6A into Part 11 of the Schedule 1 to the 2007 Order. Rule 6A, 2A, 4, 5 and 6 contain references which are not gender neutral. Similar references appear in the new Rule 6B, 7 as inserted into Part 11 of the Schedule 1 to the 2007 Order and in the new Rule 18, 5 and 18, 6B as inserted into Paragraph 11 of the Order of, into Part 12 of the Schedule 1 to the 2007 Order. The references to Part 14 in Paragraph 12 of the Schedule to the Order should be to Part 13. Paragraph 1A7 of the Schedule to the Order is superfluous and should be omitted. The Order fails to revoke the definition of the Scheme Actuary, which is intended to repla be replaced by a definition of Scheme Actuary inserted into Rule 2 of Part 1 of Schedule 1 to the 2007 Order by 1A11 of the Schedule to this Order, and the reference to Rule 513 in the new Rule 11A in Part 12 of Schedule 1 to the 2007 Order should be Rule 5A13 of Part 11. Does the committee therefore agree to draw the instrument to the attention of the Parliament under the general reporting ground as it contains drafting errors? Agreed. The committee may wish to note that the Scottish Government has agreed to lay an amending instrument which will correct the errors identified with the present instrument prior to its commencement on the 23rd of May 2014. Does the, agree, does the committee agree so to note? Agreed. John. Um, I welcome the fact that the Government has agreed to lay an amending order uh, which will correct the errors, but I have to say um, I'm a bit disappointed um, at the overall level of drafting in this committee. Um, I'm sorry to say that the word that springs to mind is sloppy, and I'm surprised uh, given the assurances that we were given by uh, Minister Joel Fitzpatrick on, in this regard, there, there seems to have been a, such a failure here, um, both at the Scottish Government level and at drafting level, um, to bring forward an instrument of this quality. Do members have any other comments? I'm sure the committee wholeheartedly agrees with your comments, and I'm sure the Government will note that. 
Turning now to the Children's Hearing Scotland Act 2011, Modification of Subordinate Legislation Order 2014, SSI 2014-112. The instrument contains a drafting error in paragraph 2.3 of the schedule, which provides for the substitution of text in paragraph 6 of Schedule 4 to the Looked After Children Scotland Regulations 2009. The text has already been substituted by virtue of paragraph 1116b of Schedule 1 to the Children's Hearings Scotland Act 2011, Modification of Subordinate Legislation Order 2013, SSI 2013-147. The Committee may wish to note the Scottish Government considers that, given the duplication of provision, paragraph 23 of the Schedule has no practical effect. Scottish Government has also indicated that in light of that, it has no plans to rectify this error by laying an amendment. The committee may consider, however, that paragraph 2.3 is a superfluous and confusing provision, and so the error should be rectified if an opportunity arises to amend this order for other purposes. Can I say, I actually entirely agree with that. Those of us who have studied the law do not want to find it in two different places. It just doesn't help. Does the committee therefore agree to draw the instrument to the attention of the Parliament under the general reporting ground? Thank you. No points have been raised by our legal advisers on Fireman's Pension Scheme Amendment No. 2, Scotland Order 2014, SSI 2014-108, nor on the National Health Service Free Prescriptions and Charges for Drugs and Appliances, Scotland Amendment Regulations 2014, SSI 2014-115. Is the committee content with these instruments? Thank you. Agenda item three is instruments not subject to any parliamentary procedure. No points have been raised by our legal advisers on the Victims and Witnesses Scotland Act 2014, commencement number one, order 2014, SSI 2014-117, nor on the Marriage and Civil Partnership Scotland Act 2014, commencement number one, order 2014, SSI 2014-121. Is the committee content with these instruments, please? Thank you. Agenda item four is the Revenue Scotland and Tax Powers Bill. This item of business is consideration of the Scottish Government's response to the Committee's Stage 1 report on the Revenue Scotland and Tax Powers Bill. Members have seen the briefing paper and the response from the Scottish Government. Do members have any comments, please? John. Thank you, Convener. Um, I would welcome uh, the fact that... Um, that they're going to uh, not extend the, the corporate plan uh, beyond the three years. I welcome that. And I'd also rec welcome the fact that the government intend to bring forward an amendment at stage two um, under the under section 54. Um, so I, I think and the, the, the remaining uh, piece of work about penalties is obviously a piece of work still in progress. So. Doubtless we will hear in due course what they propose. Are we content to, to note what we have before us and, and look forward to what comes further? Content. We are, thank you very much. And necessary, of course, to reconsider the bill at stage two. That completes agenda item five, at which point I... Sorry, agenda item four, at which point I move the meeting into private. Sorry. Questions to leave us. Thank you.